Hi, thanks for watching Be Limitless. My name is Rich Webster. This video is going to be on roofs by footprint in Autodesk LT Revit 2017. I also do inline or online instruction and tutoring in Revit and AutoCAD. So if you have any Revit questions or concerns, please leave comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to start with a two-story house that I've already done. I've taken the roof off the second story. I'm going to show you how to do not only do roof by footprint, but also join two complex roofs, meaning we're going to join a gable roof um, to a hipped roof and show you how to do the create the valleys. So we're going to go ahead and start by going and making sure you got the right stuff. So if you start with a house plan that you have the exterior walls drawn and the structure is drawn, that's when we're going to put our roof on. Um, but the first thing you need to, need to have done is in elevations set up your elevation tags or your levels and your levels will determine where your roof's going to sit so on a two-story house I have a first floor plate and a second floor plate and these need to be set so that when I'm drawing my roof I can indicate where and what height my roof is going to sit so to get started I'm going to go back to my second floor and I'm going to create a roof by footprint. So I'm going to go to Architecture tab, go to Roofs, and I'm going to select the type of roof we want, which is a wood truss asphalt shingle. And now it's going to ask me where I want the base level to be at the second floor plate height. That's the levels that you should have put on your elevations. That's why they're important. The rest we're going to leave as indicated 10 foot fascia depth. Up here is where your overhang is going to be indicated. Here's where you can indicate what overhang you want. We're going to leave a foot six overhang on this. We're going to come up here to pick walls. I'm going to select the pick wall command and when I select the wall it's automatically going to draw that roof eave at a foot six overhang. So we're going to go ahead and put the roof the main roof on the exterior on the upstairs second floor and I don't need to pick this wall instead I'm going to trim that line and that line and now I'm going to indicate what the roof pitch is so after I've done that I hit escape once and now if I pick any of the eaves I can tell it what slope I want and since I want the whole thing to be the same I click on none of them and go to the slope and indicate that I want it to be a four slope for pitch roof, four inch pitch roof. So we're going to say apply, come up to this check button, it says finish edit mode. Now if I go to my 3D tab, you're going to see the main hipped roof is on the second floor. Now I want to put two gabled roofs on for a look and join them to my hip roof. And this is where we come into our complicated roofs. So now I'm going to go back to the second floor same concept go to roof make sure it's the right roof make sure it's at the base level second floor plate height again it's the right overhang again pick walls this time I only want the little pop out and I want this to come back and die into my hipped roof so I'm just going to draw this guesstimate back here because I can always join it cut it extend it later so there's no right or wrong to the back side that's going to die into the other roof. But again, this is going to be a gabled roof, so I don't want the middles to slope. So I'm going to come up here and it says define slope, uncheck that. Now I'm going to click these two ends and set the slope to 412 there. Again, the arrow, finish mode. Now if I go to 3D, there's my gabled roof. And you can see if I click my roof, my roof just goes back and dies into the hipped roof. We're going to leave that right now. We're going to go ahead and draw my other gabled roof over the other part of the house. So again, I'm going to go back to second floor. I'm going to do another roof the same way. Make sure it's the right roof. Make sure it's at the second floor plate height. And overhang the same back to the pick walls. I got to pick the same exterior wall and this same exterior wall so I make sure my roofs line up. I don't want my roof to come way out here. I want it to only be in line with this 
And again, this is where I guesstimate it's going to die into the existing roof. So I'm just going to guess somewhere back here. And again, we can show you how to join those once we have the roof done. So this roof line ran by. So if I already hit check, it's going to give me an error because the roofs, the, the roof lines aren't connecting or joining. So I want to continue sketching and I'm going to go back to my trim command and just trim those up to make sure it all is continuous. And now I'm going to finish and go to my 3D view. You can see that I didn't do the right gabled. It's all hipped. So I'm going to select the roof, go back to edit footprint, go back to second floor. I could do it here, but I'll show you on the second floor. So what we didn't do is take off the roof slopes here and here like we did before and we've got to make sure we're at a 412 pitch so even if you mess up it's very easy to go back and fix and now we're going to see that I've got basically three different roofs all making up this roof and you can see this roof goes beyond so every time you do a roof the walls that go up to the roof you want to select the walls and then go to this attach base and select the roof that it's under and now all your your walls will be extended up to that roof so they all connect so you want to do that anytime you do a roof now we want to join them the reason you want to join them is so that when you go to your roof plan you're going to see all your valleys if you were to just leave it like this and go to your roof plan view you won't see any of your valleys where the roofs connect so what I want to do here is I want to go to your modified command, go to join. I'm going to pick the smaller roof, join it to the bigger roof, and boom, you can see the valley shows up. Same thing, I'm still in the join command. I'm going to pick the smaller roof and pick the bigger roof. And now you can see where that cut. And so now all my roofs are joined. And this is kind of the look we were after. I wanted this little roof overhang to continue and that's why it's this is my existing roof that comes through so it's kind of like a little roof overhang on the front face of the house kind of a traditional look and then on now also you can go back to your architecture go to your roof command um, actually go back to your architecture command oh, I'm still in the roof command sorry stop that and now if I go back to this arrow I can come down to roof fascias select what size of fascia I want leave it by 1 by 8 and now I can start picking the eaves and adding the fascia to all my roofs and because they're all the same I can continue around and when I want to end it I hit restart fascia so here I would select this pull this fascia up out of the roof so that fascia doesn't come on top of the roof so it doesn't you don't see it on your roof plan and there is roof by footprints with complex roofs all joining again leave comments if this uh, video helped please like it I'll do a lot more Revit uh, videos just add comments and what Revit videos you would like to see and I'll continue to make them as needed. Thanks for watching.